Enterprises don't always start with a detailed plan and sometimes their roots can be traced to an unintended consequence of a random act. That's more or less how Riona Maharaj became a full-time social media entrepreneur. Hi everyone, today I... In her online avatar, she's called Crazy Rio and the name suits her bubbly personality on screen. But read between the lines of her blog and you soon realize that alongside her love of style, Riona Maharaj also has a pretty level-headed approach to everyday challenges and issues. She's also passionate about helping others to make the most of their lives. And Zaki was keen to discover how Rio fitted into Riona in real life. When I was younger, I just liked being called crazy. And then I started meeting like-minded people and realized it was actually a compliment. That being said, I'm very much looking forward to meeting Riona Maharaj, who is also known as Crazy Rio. Riona was busy with a photo shoot for her blog, presenting a selection of elegant fusion style evening wear for summer special occasions. You're a vision! <laughs> Thank you for letting me interrupt your day. No, no, come. <laughs> so good to meet you. So I'm dying to know, who is Riona Maharaj and has she always been Crazy Rio? Crazy Rio has always been there. The How it originated was, it was my actually my first email address because Riona was already taken. You know, they give you other options and Crazy Rio was one of them. And it actually depicts my personality perfectly because I've got a lot of elements to me and it allows me the freedom of creativity. What started you blogging? For the last nine years, I've been encapsulated in being a wife and a mom. And when I turned 30, I realized that I had lost my identity along the way. And I needed an outlet to express my creativity. And blogging just gave me that platform. When did you first see the possibility of turning your blog into an enterprise? And how did you go about doing so? As I started gaining momentum in terms of following, I realized that corporates and brands had started approaching me and it hadn't been something that had occurred to me initially and then I started taking on small projects which actually became fun. It just gives me an outlet to be things that I've never been, like modeling opportunities and emceeing and I've even been on radio and it's completely out of my comfort zone but it, it makes me feel alive. How do you balance being a wife, an entrepreneur and a mom? I think every minute of my day is accounted for. My sleep is a minimal for me but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make because it allows me my creative freedom. Brianna, I've completely interrupted you in the middle of a wardrobe change. I'm going to leave you to it and I'll see you downstairs. I'll see you now. <laughs> Riona describes her digital persona as being a blogger, vlogger and influencer. And she's concluded contracts with handpicked local luxury brands to model the garments and accessories. She was also appointed as an ambassador for a talk and sign campaign initiated by the KwaZulu Natal Blind and Deaf Society, balancing her love of beautiful things with a sense of social responsibility. What is the purpose of today's shoot? So today I'm working with two high-end opulent brands. One is a international gemologist who produces fine jewellery and another is a couture dress uh, company from Durban. So the jewellery that I'm showcasing today, they're diamonds with rubies. I've chosen the black and the red dress to showcase the ruby aspect of the earrings. What are the main topics of your blog and what is the aim and who's your audience? Everything is an aspect that's relatable to my life. So it's everything from being a mom to keeping fit to keeping positive and just having an all-round balance with your mind and body. You operate in a social media environment. How do you protect your privacy? The privacy of my children and my family stay very private, but I still allow the audience into my life in ways that I think can uplift and inspire them. What advice do you have for women out there who want to ignite their inner entrepreneur? I think that we live in a time where nothing is impossible, nothing's stopping you. And if you break up your goals into realistic time frames, anything is possible. And a lot of people get it wrong because success is meant to be shared. So there's nothing wrong with uplifting one another and I think we need to do that more in our society and there's enough success to be shared and go around. Thank you so much for the inspiring afternoon. Thank you, Zakia. Thank you for having me. It's been a blast.